Good morning from Disney's Vero Beach Resort. I'm standing here in the lobby in front of a uh, big picture photo spot opportunity that they've got set up here uh, for Latin American and Hispanic Heritage Month, which was really neat to see. Um, all of us slept so good in our room. The beds are super comfy. We were out. Uh, but we're up somewhat early this morning. We're coming down to Wind and Waves to eat breakfast this morning because um, we've been very excited to try out the breakfast and then we'll see what we get into from there. So come along with us. So somehow, as you can kind of see, we beat the breakfast rush this morning, but they set us at the exact same table. I mean, what are, what are the odds eating at the exact same table here? Right by the wood fire grill, you can see a bunch of prepared omelets or omelets ready to be made back there. And we are excited. Here is the breakfast menu. For those of y'all that want to look at it, I know I put the QR code in last night's video. And this is kids. But just so you, and yes, the kids menu, it's still the activity menu, but you got different options on there. But I'm not getting Chad's doing a omelet. Ty's getting some Mickey waffles. I'm going to get the breakfast sandwich duo. I'm really excited about that. Don't know if mom knows what she's getting yet. She doesn't. But I uh, wanted to point out that they have the pog juice here. And that, you know, for those of y'all that have had the Ohana breakfast at the Polynesian, the character breakfast, that's the juice that they serve at that particular sit down that everybody loves. So, really excited to be able to have pog juice here. Food is here and we are excited. So there's Chad's omelet that he got with sausage and bacon and cheddar cheese. And he got a side of fruit and some toast. He'll be sharing with Chad, I mean with Ty. Ty got a couple of Mickey waffles and a sausage link and some home fries, potatoes there. Mom got a big Mickey waffle with bananas and some crispy bacon. And then I got the breakfast sandwich duo, which was a chicken biscuit with cheese and um, some, yep, some sausage gravy, and then a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit with some home fries. So very much looking forward to this. There's my pog juice. Mom's drinking her Joffrey's blend coffee that she loves. And then Ty's got some watermelon lemonade. We are all done with breakfast. It was definitely a hit. Everybody had happy plates. Chad ate extremely well for him. We're back over here by this hill cannon in the uh, puzzle room right over there to our right. And you can see the spa there in the background. Uh, but wanted to show you guys, they've got the old timey photos all throughout the lobby and downstairs area. And of course there's a lot of Brooklyn Dodgers stuff because Vero Beach used to be the home of Dodger Town for the Brooklyn Dodgers and Los Angeles Dodgers spring training. Okay, mom took a second to take the boys pictures right here at uh, this ebb and flow rental photo spot and ebb and flows is right down there. You can see the flag with the sea turtles. That is where they have all types of rentals, activity rentals. We get free towels for the day. They've got ping pong table here. You've got the buoys and goals, boys and girls restrooms. And all of this is just on the other side of the pool. And then to the right, right over here, is the community hall where they have all sorts of arts and crafts going on from, I wanna say about 12.30 to six o'clock every day. And attached to the community hall is the Anchors Away Gym, okay? So we are headed to the beach. So we're gonna make our way there now. As we were walking to the beach, I noticed the fencing here around the pool. I don't know if you'd really call this a hidden Mickey because it's fairly obvious but you can see the Mickeys lined up on the fence all the way around again that's the pool area turn around this is the second beach access entrance and I wanted to show y'all 
this awesome mural right here. Dark beaches lead to bright horizons with the turtle. And then on the other side here of the fence, you can see the little hatchlings coming out and making their way in. And basically the point of the mural, they don't have any lights pointing towards the beach at night so that the sea turtles can safely make their way to and from the shoreline where they lay their nests. They'll do it throughout. Um, these areas right here, you can see canvas and lounge chairs, umbrellas, and then these things are what they consider cabanas that you can rent for the day. Since this is a very busy day for your truly, and I will be taking off from here to head towards Orlando this evening, around three o'clock we didn't rent anything with an umbrella we just rented these canvas chairs which for non-dvc members like us they are eight dollars per chair per day so we got three because we knew that chad would want to sit down but this is where we've set up for the time being and i wanted to show you guys right over here you can see where they already have it partitioned off one of the Disney nature preservists came out at some point this morning because this was not here yesterday and partitioned this off so this lets you know that in that area a sea turtle made a nest in the middle of the night last night and laid some eggs there there is another one further on down the beach don't know if you can see it but this is where they made a nest last night, so to keep everybody away from it. All right, so now it's time for some fun here on the beach. One thing that Jess and I just can't get over is how few people are out here. You know, our usual beach trips are to Panama City, where it's wall-to-wall -wall people the whole time. And there's no one out here. The waves are fairly rough when they break close to the shore, but you go out just a little wet bit and it's mostly peaceful. You can stand, you can relax. It's nice. Ty and I were out there for a little while. Hey guys, so the reason that I said that it's mostly peaceful uh, out there where Ty and I were is because uh, near the end of us being out there, we were out there for probably a good 15 minutes or so. We just got destroyed by two waves in a row from uh, behind. We didn't see coming. And uh, the first one uh, ate my sunglasses. So I'm actually headed back into the lobby, into the store. I'm gonna go pick out some new sunglasses for myself. Um, because I've already got a little bit of a headache. So I know just staring into the sun, it's only worse than that. And I absolutely love sunglasses. So gotta go get me some more. And I figure I will show y'all the store because we've been in there a few times already. I just haven't videoed. And so hopefully right now it won't be too crowded and I'll be able to walk around and show you guys what they've got to offer here in the Vero Beach store. All right, so here we are at the store, the Island Grove Packing Company. It's open from 9 to 9. If you walk in, you immediately have the Halloween designs for this year and some DVC exclusive spirit jerseys there with some Halloween headbands with Disney's own little version of Lil Boo that they have created for this year. And then over here, you've got quite a bit of resort-specific merch jess absolutely loves this hoodie she's already said that uh even though it does say dbc she wants it so she will probably get this before we leave it's got some sweatpants that go with it and then a nice men's shirt here pocket square on the front some coffee mugs and then i pan over here and you can see some more DVC exclusive 
merch. This stuff doesn't really just apply to Vero Beach. Lots of DVC member merch. Some DVC lounge flies, DVC Mickey ears, lots of women's. And then over here in the back corner is a Tommy Bahama section. Uh, Jess and I both really liked some stuff over here, but it's pretty expensive. Just to show y'all this button down here, $128. I believe the sundresses were about the same. Yep, $128 for them too. Um, so really nice, but you're paying name brand prices. Over here by the back of the Orange Grove truck is your movie rentals because every room has a DVD Blu-ray player in it. So they have a list of PG-13, rated R, PG, and then a huge notebook of G-rated rentals that you can take to your room for free. They are complimentary. Some more DVC merch. I really like that. I feel like it may be made as almost like a short crop top style. Long sleeve, don't know if Jess would be into that. Then you've got your wall of, of course, Disney branded sweets and snacks. The boys have already seen those, as you would expect. Lounge flies, Encanto, you got Doug from Up, The Incredibles and Disney Parks for the 50th down there. And then some more Vero Beach exclusive stuff. Really like the Surf's Up shirt for the kids. The Relax and Enjoy motto there nice vineyard vines style polo 98 dollars for that one you just really like this tumbler here for vero beach pirates plunge is the name of the slide and you got the pool ebb and flows rentals wind and waves grills and then the distance to Walt Disney World Resort. So Jess will probably end up getting this tumbler as well. One of the things that she liked then the boys had a huge fit over the game section. So I wanted to show you all this, all Disney themed game and puzzles. So you've got Magic Kingdom, Kingdom themed Candyland. Ty wants that. Disney Parks Game of Life. Jungle Cruise Hungry Hungry Hippos. It's a small world game. We actually have that at home. And then Ty, of course, wanted Disney Parks Monopoly. He's been on the Monopoly kick, wants to play it. Pirates of the Caribbean Battleship, Disney Parks Perfection, these Yahtzee Cups, which we're probably going to end up getting this because Jess had a fit over it. There are four different cups, each representing a different park. This one you can see is Animal Kingdom. Let's see if I can maneuver around Magic Kingdom here. Hard for me to tell. Maybe this one is actually Tower of Terror. And so this one would be Hollywood Studios. This one would be Magic Kingdom. And then Epcot. And then Puzzles. And we'll probably end up getting at least one of these. We really like the Magic Kingdom one. The Pirates of the Caribbean. And then this one specifically that ties in to the theming of conservation, which is big here. Then just a couple others, Aristocats and Mickey and Minnie on like a Main Street or French Pier. Then you've got your wall of stuffies. And I absolutely love this section, the Ulu Mail, which, you know, I've always thought was just exclusive to the Alani Resort in Hawaii. But here he is at Vero Beach. You can get a Ulu Mail stuffy, some purses, keychains, lots of Ulu Mail merch. So might be walking away with some Ulu Mail stuff. And then some more stuffies. You've got your jewelry. Key change and magnets. That Mjolnir keychain is pretty awesome. Broken up. Some sunglasses. This is where I will be looking in a second. Not here at the kids, of course, but gotta see if I can find some sunglasses for myself. Since the Ocean 8 mine. So we'll see. We'll come back there. Then you've got these are actually candles. The stitch one's pineapple. Poison apple, of course, is an apple scented. That's like a spiced apple. And then this is the Haunted Mansion. This is, I really like the look of the outside of this as it's the tombstones outside of the Haunted Mansion. And for y'all's curiosity, these are all $35, but they all smell very good. 
and some DVC luggage, fleece throws, picture frames, coffee mugs, all throughout, so home decor. Then over here, you've got your medicines, things that you may have left at home and need, just travel size stuff all throughout, whatever you may need. Mickey ears galore, then Disney hats, Disney sandals made by Javianas. Okay, so popular brand there. Some beach themed toys, you got a Nemo bucket, Mickey shovel, and then Cinderella's castle as a sand castle. Got goggles, beach balls, towels, and sunscreen. Just wanted me to see if they had some face sunscreen for the boys because we just ran out of our roll-on. I'm not seeing any, so I may have to come home uh, empty-handed with that. Some Quicksilver bathing suits and Disney themed bathing suits. And some kids merch. Unisex over here. And then, of course, for the girls over here. And then you've got your diapers your other kid-friendly needs, socks, underwear, all Disney themed, and then pins galore. And that pretty much sums up the store. So I'm gonna look for what I need and then head back out to the beach. We've made our way to the pool now from the beach. Mom and Chad are right here. Chad got worn out from playing in the waves. It zapped all his energy. So he is just needing to rest and relax. Here's an up close view of the slide for you guys. I uh, didn't give y'all last night. And then Ty and I, after playing in the pool for a little while, he wanted to come over to the splash pad play area where he spent quite a while last night. So since I didn't film last night over here while my phone was charging, I figured I would come and show y'all this splash area. There's not, there's not a, there's not a height restriction for it, but he's been working and playing over here for quite some time. You can see a lot of structures and water spouts, and then of course the big ship with the slide. He pretty much had this to himself last night, and he was going and going and going and going and going. And so we'll see how long he spends over here since he doesn't have the run of it to himself. But he had a blast here. Maybe he'll get Chad over here with him once Chad's feeling a little better. But uh, Chad may feel that he's a little too old for this. Well, I guess that means I need to film him a little bit so you can see whatever he's gonna do after he goes down the slide. He was trying to get the treasure chest over here. Doesn't spit out any water. He was trying to get it open last night. He thought he had some kind of combination going to open it. If he went down the slide enough times, spun the wheel enough times, he was trying and trying and trying, but he's having a blast. Ty's about to come down the slide. Thanks. There he is. Big Zach's coming too. Dad! <laughs> Hold on. There's Dad. Look, Ty already went back up.
Anything you want to say? Hey guys, the reason why I didn't go on the slide is that I wasn't feeling too well, so I've just been resting here for like three minutes. Yeah. Hey guys, we're, we're having a lot of fun this trip and we hope you're having fun watching our videos and following along with our trips with us. Bye! What we see, what we are, we all just all laughing, sailing home, drumming hard, it's my turn. All right, Ty talked mom into going down the slide. So mom and Ty are up there now. So it looks like Ty's going first. No surprise there. There isn't a lifeguard up at the top of the slide or anything. They do have a red and green light that you've got to follow so you know when to go. You have to go down on your bottom or laying down on your back. And watch so this. Comes I will Mom. show you if I can float. So let's see mom coming down. You know what? We can, yeah. Oh, mom actually laid down. Surprised. Yeah. I, I, Woo! Yeah, yeah mom. I'll show you on one of these tails. Come on. I don't know. What are you doing, Ty? Over there. So you have to lay down like that. He's showing you how to ride the slide. All right, we are chilling here by the pool. It's about lunchtime, a little later. Neither of the boys were really hungry, so they're just kind of snacking. Ty got him a Mickey pretzel with some cheese, and Mom got herself um, some hummus and uh, pita bread, and you can see they made uh, Mickey out of her hummus and a couple of cucumbers there. And then Chad is just eating some sour cream and onion chips. Oh, Ty also got some barbecue chips. And then I went ahead and I grabbed myself one of the Disney Resort Cups. I really liked it because it's celebrating the 50th. You can see it's got Tinkerbell on there. It's got Moana and Stitch. It's got the monorail. And uh, it's got Donald and, of course, Mickey. And for this, for purchasing and activating it, you can fill up your cup in the market here for the next two weeks for free. So uh, with as much as I love my Coke Zero, uh, I will definitely get my money's worth out of this. You can also fill up with tea and coffee in this. So, so it can very much uh, pay for itself very quickly. Hey everybody. Well, this is the last you'll see of me in today's video because I am headed off to Orlando wearing an appropriate t-shirt for tonight. This is last year's Horror Night shirt because yours truly is headed to Universal's uh, Horror Nights, Halloween Horror Nights uh, 31 this evening. So I'll be on the road for a little bit. Uh, Jess and the boys are staying here, too adult themed for them. So they're gonna have a nice relaxing evening. Hopefully they're gonna film what they do here and what they eat, etc. And I'll put that in uh, just as soon as I sign off for you guys and hopefully they'll do a sign off because all of my Horror Nights adventures will be a separate video for you guys because that'll be the majority of my evening. So stay tuned so for that. We've gone to Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, we went to the beach and the pool. So now it's me and the boys. So we hung out a little while, watched uh, Tangled and Toy Story, oh, and Toy Story 3. So now... I want to do ping pong, so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to do ping pong, we're going to grab some dinner, and then Ty wants to play Monopoly. So Ty's having trouble with the paddle, so he's just going to use his hand. Chad's going to use the paddle. <laughs> Easy. You got to hit over the net. Over the net, Ty. There you go. <laughs> This is how ping pong is with two boys. And if you ever want ice cream, just call me. If you ever want ice cream, ties your date. Yeah, just 
Okay, so now we're eating dinner. We got dinner from the market. So this is Chad's grilled cheese, grapes, With and carrots. And then what'd you get to drink? I have sweet tea. Roll peak sweet tea. Yeah. And then I got nachos. And then Ty got, what'd you get? Hot dog. A hot dog. With ketchup. With applesauce and, soup. and soup. grapes. No and fruit cup. No fruit cup, just grapes, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so we have eaten dinner and we have made our way to like the game room, puzzle room. And as you can tell, we are about to start Monopoly, which is Ty's favorite game. And I always try to get the possum with the most. Money. I'm always first out. He, yeah, Chad's always the first one out, and Ty's like the master of Monopoly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Him yeah, and Dad yeah, go yeah, forever. Yeah, yeah. Him and Dad go so forever. it's going to be interesting since Dad's not here. So. Here we go. All right, so update on the Monopoly game. Yeah, can you tell who's out? Look who's out. Already. I told you I'm in it. I am always first. All right, so now it's time for Ty to take mom down, probably. Okay, hold on. Let's go. He took all my cards since he got me out. He took all my cards since he got me out. He got you out. Ty has started building houses now on... Disney's uh, wait, wait. boardwalk villa. So he's gonna, he's in his element now. Yeah. Oh. Little update as I am. It's all because of this happened. She was here. So I landed on Ow. boardwalk. Which so is here's my all my money for Ty and all my mortgage properties. And I still came up short. So here's all of the I guys. have every single He has everything. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel, sir? Um, pretty good. <laughs> How should he feel good? He's beat me. He has eliminated me every time in Monopoly. Every time. Maybe like 20 times. I don't know. Yeah, every time we play Monopoly, you've eliminated me. Mm, yeah. All That's right. True. So. I have the money. So you win, right? Yeah, I win. Hey guys, it is the next day and we realized that there wasn't a closing filmed for uh, yesterday's Vero Beach video. So uh, with that being the case, hope you enjoyed our day at the beach and at the pool and enjoyed the evening with the boys and Jess around the hotel uh, while I was off at Horror Nights. Uh, be sure to like this video as it goes a long way to help the channel. And if you have any comments, questions, feel free to hit us up down in those. We love interacting with you guys. Um, and if you enjoyed this video and others like it, and we also do gaming videos on the channel, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss a Coker Culture video. Until next time, <laughs> what's your why?